All right, guys. So today we are going to get back on the routes. We're going to focus on route groups. So the first thing we're going to do, let's say that we have a show a single post route. So the first thing we would want to do is we'd want to add a route with the auth middleware. And then we can say git and then we'll say slash post slash post with brackets around it. Then we'll do post controller at show and then name equals post dot show. Just like that, right? So we have this middleware and we're putting it on both routes. So let's get this working real quick by going to our post controller. And then in our post controller, let's go down to the show method. Now we're going to say return view post dot show. Then we're going to say compact post. Just like that, right? And then we'll get rid of that so that annoying thing goes away. And we get replaced with those annoying yellow lines, whatever. And then we're going to go to the views and post. And we're going to add a new post dot blade dot php. We're going to copy over from index dot blade dot php the post dot index dot blade dot php and all we're going to do is we're just going to simply remove all of these extra lines remove that for each and then we'll just have our post right here so now we have a route with a single post so if we do like post one then we should get ooh, post dot show not found what do we do I call it post.blade. It needs to be show.blade.php. And the reason for that is because we did post.show. So it's going to go to the resources, views, hence the view method, and look for the post directory, and then the show.blade.php file, and then we're passing through the post. And it, we know that that's the post because we're binding the post brackets right there. And then, since we're passing through that ID, it knows to get the post with an ID of one. And that properly works, right? But we could clean this up a little bit, you know. Once we start to have a lot more routes, we're going to have to do route middleware, you know. Uh, I don't know, post.delete and then post.destroy. And then we're going to have to do, you know, uh, post slash create. And then that's going to have to go to the, you know, create method and we don't want to have to do all that so what we can do is we can actually set up a route group now a route group is going to be able to define its own middleware and then we can say group function and then we can do within here we can define all of our routes just like that and we can remove the middleware and just do route git and then we can do route Git. We can even take that a step further and we can even define the name as post right there. But we won't do that right now. In fact, to clean everything up, we'll get rid of these names all together. And so if we do that, then everything should work exactly as it did. So if we reload this page, it works. If we go back to posts, it works. If we were a logged out user, it would not work properly because we have the auth middleware and you can do this and you can add like the prefix is gonna be you know whatever you can add a whole bunch of stuff like that what I actually like doing though is pretty unorthodox and it is going to the route service provider right and if you notice in the route service provider here's what it does it has and I'll lower that for you guys we're in the route service provider, app provider slash route service provider. Then we have a namespace, and that's where the controllers will be found. That's the home route for your application if a user's logged in. And then that's just the typical boot service provider boot method. Here's what's cool about the route service provider. It has the map API routes and the map web routes. Well, notice if we open up our routes directory, we have the web.php and we have the api.php so what we can actually do is we can say okay let's do this map auth web routes map authenticated web routes then all we're going to do right here is we're going to literally copy this web routes for the application with auth middleware applied 
just like that. Now what we're going to do is when we map our auth web routes, we're going to say, okay, middleware equals web. Well, we're going to change that to an array. So it's going to be web and it's going to be auth, just like that. Next, the namespace is going to be the same. The group, the base path is going to be route slash auth.php or web auth.php. So now what we can do is we can actually do new file web auth.php. Now within the web.php, we can copy these routes over just like that. And we can now do, okay, PHP, route middleware, auth, group. Well, let's just remove that group function, right? And now, because we're doing that, I, did I end up calling that web or? Yeah, let's just call it auth routes. I don't really like the dash there. So we'll just say dash, no dash. Let's just call it auth. And then we'll get the auth routes. And now, if we go back to our auth routes right here, these will automatically apply the auth middleware. If we go back to web and say, okay, our home controller routes are behind the auth route as well, well, let's just bring that over to auth, right? And there we go. Now, if we go and we try to reload the post, it'll still work. And if we log out, just like that, and then we try to hit the post, it doesn't let us go. And so guys, that's a really cool way to actually do route groups. So again, in the web.php or api.php, you can actually do route group, and then you can do a callback function to find all those routes there, and then to find your middleware auth here. But I really like doing this way because now we know it's like, hey, here's all of our authenticated routes. like. Here's all they are, and we don't have to sit there and do route group after route group. Instead, we can use our service provider, which is what it's for, go to this map function, say, okay, this map auth web routes, and then we just add a new protected map auth web routes, and this will just say, hey, all of the files, or all the, sorry, all the routes in this file will automatically get this middleware and this namespace applied. The namespace is the controller's namespace. That way we can reference the controllers as callbacks without having to actually import them. So that is pretty cool stuff, guys. That is my favorite way to do middleware on routes. And now if you want to have an open route and you just want to say, okay, route get slash, and then we'll say, I don't know. Uh, do we have a welcome controller? Controller, let's do controller, home controller. Um, <coughs> doesn't <coughs> my bad guys. And let's go back to web and we'll just say, okay, function return. And then we'll just do view welcome, just like that. And then if we go down there, <coughs> ooh, there we go. And then if we go down there, you can see, okay, we have a welcome.blade.php. It doesn't have any authentication or anything. It says, okay. If the user has not logged in, show the auth routes, otherwise show home. So now if we go back to this page and we go back home, that will properly work. But check this. Let's say we didn't even want to give the users the uh, ability to see the welcome page without being logged in, right? Well, instead of just not adding it at all, we could just go back to auth and we could say, okay, these are our auth routes. If you want to hit the welcome page, well, if you're not logged in, we're going to redirect you to, to log in. So guys, that's a pretty cool way of setting up uh, middleware and route groups with middleware. Again, pretty simple stuff. Create a new file, call whatever that route group you want to call it. Then go to your app providers, route service provider, and then you're going to say map API routes, map web routes. Those are there by default. Add your own one, copy the map web routes add whatever middleware, namespaces, prefixes, all that stuff you can do with route groups. And then the group is just going to be the path to the given route group. So guys, that's some really cool stuff. I love that setup. I uh, just learned about it pretty recently too. So that's one way to separate your auth routes from your non-authenticated routes in a really cool, unique, but clean, clean way.
So there we go, guys. Um, in the next one, we will be getting on to gates, and then we will be getting on to policies. This is Zach Horn with Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life. If you thought this was cool, like and subscribe, and we will be getting on to gates and then policies in the next two tutorials of our Laravel authorization series. So.